Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So today we're in our FA18C Hornet and we're going to be looking at the radio or radios for communications use. So first we're going to look at who we're going to be talking to. To make this video easy we're going to sit on the runway and talk to Cobby Luddy uh, Tower. This is available on 40.8 megahertz alpha uh, AM modulation, 133 megahertz AM modulation, that's VHF, UHF 262 AM modulation and this one at the bottom here I've still not figured out what it is but I don't think it's of any relevance uh, so that's who we're going to be talking to so I'm going to write that down also we've got this dude here a tank uh, T90 and he is transmitting on um, 31 megahertz FM so we've got something in the FM VHF FM modulation there at 10 watts and he's transmitting this wave file here on repeat okay I've got my Hornet here if I click on us uh, the Hornet can work either on presets or we can tune in manually on the Hornet um, so we, to do the presets they're set in the mission editor they can only be set in the mission editor and we can click here we've got the ARC 210 we've got two ARC 210s in the Hornet so you've got two identical radios and you can run them at the same time uh, and they're excellent radios each of these radios can handle uh, VHF AM VHF FM UHF AM and UHF FM that's quite a big achievement to have uh, really good radios these are um, anyway so I've got 20 preset channels for each we're not going to mess around with um, the uh, radio 2 it's basically an identical copy of radio 1 so you can just know that you can use both at the same time okay and um, we're going to change channel 2 here to be tower which is 133 on the VHF AM and channel 3 on uh, 262 which is the tower on 262 um, UHF AM and you can see you can do, you've got between AM and FM there although we can only choose AM on the preset okay next we're going to save and jump in the bird okay welcome back we're in the bird now so very simple on this aircraft we've just got two radios on the upfront controller the UFC radio 1 unboxing here radio 2 unboxing here and very simple for each one you've got a volume knob which you can drag and move up or down for the volume you've got your channel selector display there you've got your channel selector knob there and mirrored over the other side exactly the same three controls and it uses the UFC buttons basically to type in frequencies and stuff like that so we're just going to use radio 1 today but you can equally use radio 2 just as well so uh, let's look through radio one so we're going to hover over the control knob and we can use our mouse scroll wheel left and right to scroll first of all between the preset channels one two three four five six seven all the way up to 20 20 preset channels then we've got g g is guard guard is an emergency channel for any aircraft and their coalition for the nato for the hornet it is two four three uh, UHF AM and guard means that it's a frequency that's constantly monitored as an emergency so if I get jumped by MIGs or I run out of fuel or something I'll jump on guard and declare my emergency next we've got manual M for manual this allows us to type in any frequency that we want so that we can type in any frequency that we want and we'll go through that in a bit C is for Q C U E I can't work out what Q is and it doesn't tell me in the manual if anyone knows what Q is please let me know but it's a type of ra uh, uh, radio mode and finally S S for some reason stands for maritime, as in naval use uh, if you want to talk to ships and stuff uh, which I haven't managed to do as far as I'm aware it's got no u actual use at the moment but that is there okay so everything you could ever need would be on presets and manual from what I can find okay and pause for thinking so next let's start contacting the tower now first I'm not going to tune anything in at all and we're just going to contact the start again okay now every time we select a channel here and you can see the channel we've got displayed here uh, currently preset 1 we get options down here um, and these options will vary between the different channels that we select because different radio bands and different modulations have different options okay so just if that ever disappears just click left click to bring it all up again uh, sorry just yeah like that so let's go over the options so preset one which is UHF AM gets these selections guard receive if you click on this and it's checked uh, with a colon there it means that you can listen to guard as well as using preset one so I can listen to only guard I can't transmit on guard but I can listen to guard while speaking and listening to 305 so that's a, something you can leave on all the time and that will be fine sometimes we use that in our missions next we've got squelch anti squelch uh, so if I were to turn that off it makes sound and if we turn it on it takes away that sound that that sound is squelch okay cypher is next cypher all uh, 
radio transmissions from Hornets are ciphered and deciphered for, you know, because it's military. Uh, it's not modelled in DCS, so ignore it. And next, some bands can have AM and or FM. So UHF that we're in at the moment, which is 225 to 399, can have A on or FM. Some bands like upper VHF or lower uh, VHF cannot have two bands. They are just single band. It's just how the radios are split up. So um, that option may be there or not. And finally, menu. I can't find anything about this menu here. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's get using. First of all, I'd like to show you that without programming anything, and we haven't got anything programmed in at the moment, we can't use the radio. So, I need to show you how to actually use the radio. First, we've got Radio 1. That is COM switch 1. Right, alt, backslash. Then we've got COM 2, Radio 2. Right, control, backslash. We're just going to use COM 1 for ease. Uh, right, alt, and backslash. And we're going to abort, take off uh, to the um, tower. Double Eddie. One, one. And we should not get any response. Okay. That'll do. Next, we're going to tune to a preset that works. So we're going to mouse scroll wheel on here to two. That is 133 VHF AM, and that is tuned into the tower. So we're going to try it again now. Right, oh, backslash, Double abort takeoff. In field. One, one. Abort takeoff. And we should get a response. There we go. Next, we're going to try the same thing, but in the UHF band. So we're going to go mouse scroll wheel to 3. Uh, that is 2 at 6.2. And we're checking that we're in the AM modulation. We are. So let's go. Let's try that again. The tower is always in the AM modulation. The tower does not work in FM modulation. It's just a general aviation rule. And there we go. Okay, lovely. Uh, next, we're going to try using a manual pre uh, manual uh, usage. So we're going to do manual here, and we're going to type in uh, one. Out of interest, I'm going to try typing in the 40.8 to see if we can tune into that. I've never actually tried this before, so I'm going to go 40, and then 800. You have to type in these last three digits for it to work. Then press enter. Let's I just have an interest. Let's see if this works or not. Couple Eddie in field one one abort takeoff. These lower frequencies are usually uh, reserved for the World War II planes. No, it doesn't work, but I'm not particularly surprised. Uh, probably because it's in the, uh, what would typically be an FM band, uh, modulation in the VHF, that's probably why. Right. right, let's do it properly now. We're going to go to 133000, which is the AM uh, modulation for VHF for the tower, and this should work. Couple Eddie, in field, 1-1, one, one. abort takeoff. There we go. Okay, so we've showed UHF, which can be used in the AM or FM. We've showed VHF AM. What we haven't shown is VHF FM. That works in a slightly different frequency band to VHF uh, AM. It works lower down from roughly about 20 megahertz to about 80 megahertz uh, in NATO. So we're going to go and try that. And remember, we've got our T90 over here who's transmitting in FM 31 at 10 watts. So we're going to try and we've got, we're on manual again. We're going to go uh, 30. Oops. Try that. Press that. 31 0 0 0. Enter. And you can hear him talking. So it's we're receiving him now on 31. Now you notice I didn't have to tell it to be FM. That's because 31 is in the natural FM band of VHF, which is 20 to 80. Uh, and that's picking him up. Uh, this, these can be used for navigation. Let me just turn him down because I can't hear. Uh, these can be used for navigation. You've got the ADF switch here. However, we'll, con we'll um, do an ADF tutorial for that. That's the radio. That's all the uses of the radio that I know of. I hope that helps. And I'll see you later.